Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is the Tech News Update. We are Thursday, August the 30th, 2018 and today in our Tech News we have the Microsoft that has announced that of course as it's doing and been doing for the past few years um, kind of have several improvements to the Windows 10 Microsoft Store in the next few months and uh, of course this will have easier way to navigate through uh, find whatever you want. It will have new features. Of course, they've added a few already and uh, including a wish list. And it'll be easier to go through hardware, software, and uh, pretty much everything Microsoft that you can buy. So uh, we'll be looking at these new versions of the Microsoft Store as they become available. IFA 2018 is about to start in Berlin, but it's kind of already started a little bit because there's already tons of announcements. Uh, one is uh, LG showing off the first, the world's first 8K OLED TV. Yep, this is, uh, we're going there, actually, as OLED took a lot of time to actually arrive. Uh, there's not a lot known because they've been pretty quiet on the hardware and performance level of the TV. But anyways, it's just to show us that, you know, we're moving on. Samsung also um, showed its 8K QLED TV. Facebook Watch. Could this be a game changer with YouTube? Facebook is deploying its watch service to global markets now. It's previously was only available in the US and this is a really direct competition with YouTube. It is rolling out with something called AdBreak, which is the equivalent of AdSense for YouTube, where content creators can monetize their content. And of course, who is more interested in me and looking at what's available in there? Of course, I'll be looking at that for sure. Skip Ahead Insiders. You can actually look at the Sticky Notes 3.0 app if you are on the Skip Ahead. The redesigned app to take notes has the ability to sync between Windows 10 PCs and has much more options than previous versions. So if you're on Skip Ahead, why not take a look at this? Because it seems it's available and I will take a look and actually show you a little bit more about the new sticky notes today on the Insider Channel. GeForce RTX 2080. There's a leak that actually appeared, a benchmark leak, and it seems that it's a quite a good improvement over the GTX 1080 Ti and it seems that it's very impressive in performance. Of course it comes with a price tag but Typically, pretty much the world's most powerful graphics GPU is here. Well, Netflix is unhappy with the term binge-watching. Apparently, it doesn't like people or even its own actors, and it a actually asked actors playing in its own Netflix uh, TV shows and movies to not use the term binge-watching because it's associated with unhealthy habits. So it is asking to just, you know, don't talk about binge-watching. It's doesn't doesn't sound good. Yahoo is, uh, of course, we know it was breached, and we knew that a, bel a billion accounts were actually um, in the wild, and that basically meant that a lot of people were uh, in there. Well, it turns out that we learned this week that pretty much every account was breached, actually, and that's three billion accounts, not one. So yeah, if you still haven't done so, I think you really need to change your password. Talking about Yahoo, even though privacy advocates are complaining, even though Yahoo said, well, you know, we'll try to do something about it, nothing has changed. Yahoo still reads your emails and actually sells all of that information to advertisers so that it actually can, uh, you know, display ads properly. Of course, the analysts involved say Yahoo should stop doing this. It's not a good thing to do. If you've got an Intel graphics uh, on your laptop or desktop, you might want to check out um, if you have an update because a lot of people have been complaining that YouTube playback was not working well. And it seems that it's all and has all to do with the driver updates for Intel graphics. So check out your updates. Survey says that the most important vector for loss of money for a business is the email scamming. Yes, it's still going on strong and it's the number one way where scammers actually try to pretend that they're a big business that will need to, uh, you know, 
conduct some kind of business for you, need some money transfers. And uh, according to that survey, the scammers got away with billions of dollars in the past five years. And finally, Google has released the Titan security key for everyone. This device is a two-factor authenticator device that is hardware and makes sure that you stay safe. It had talked about the fact that um, two-factor with a uh, YubiKey or a basically security key was responsible for like reducing to almost zero the uh, bad and the um, you know malware and whatever all the big problems that they actually had in the company. So now of course they're selling this uh, kit for fifty dollars. And this was the tech news update. We are Thursday, August the thirtieth, twenty eighteen. Enjoy our videos. Please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.